Hello, this is a video about how to repair the rudder casting and locking mechanisms for a Hobie 16. Uh, it may translate to Hobie 14s, I'm not quite sure. The part I'll be working on is located right here on the uh, rudder of the boat. And it's part of the linkage system for the tiller arms, so enjoy. So although I did end up uh, calling it quits on the sanding, I ended up switching to the rudder casting. So I had bored out the screw that sits on the spring in there uh, with a drill and I had grazed the threads. So I'm recutting the threads with a tap and using an extender um, from just a regular socket wrench down into there, you can see. And then to make it all go a little smoother, I took a straw and just siphoned a little motor oil out, uh, dropped it down in the hole here, and I'm just cranking back and forth on the tap. And then after that, we'll set the little plastic screw in there, uh, which is kind of a challenge, but we'll get it figured out. and you just drop it down and that helps keep the uh, tap from shearing in the hole there. So down in that casing you can see some of the shavings and I've got about four or five more threads to go and then we should be cut all the way through. So it goes from about here all the way down. And you can see the shavings here at the bottom dripping off from where you cut it. And that's what we got going on. That tap, by the way, is a three quarter inch tap, 10 threads per inch, and I ordered it from Heavener's Hardware in Blacksburg. It's just the Irwin's Tools uh, tap. So yeah, get back to it. So I just bottomed out on the original threads, which would be a nice clean cut. You can see the original aluminum shavings all caked in between that tap there. So now that we've tapped the hole, we're gonna try and kind of clean off what we can. I'm gonna rinse this out with the hose, I'll be right back. Quick rinse with the hose. Back in the clamp, not too tight. And I've previously put a bit of uh, grease on here. That was back when the threads were all messed up. I don't know if you need it, but it's probably not a bad idea. It's like a dream. All right, now that we know that that works, let's get our plunger and the uh, rocking cam set, and we'll go from there. So I have here the Hobie rudder locking kit. Uh, there's the set screw, the plunger with the spring. It's gonna thread into here, that screw is, and then, this, and then the spring system uh, rest up in here and tilts on a locking cam so that when you're sailing along and if you ha happen to strike a rock or a log uh, you set it you set it with that with this screw um, to a certain resistance and at that resistance the rudder will pop up and uh, that'll prevent you from damaging your rudders what we have here is the rudder casting, the cam, the cam pen, the Delring screw, the Delrin, Delrin screw, and the plunger here. And it's good to have all these parts, these two threaded and moving parts 
uh, greased up um, so that everything works together well once it's all installed. And for my grease, I'm just using this Marine Grease 24C. Taking the plunger here on the end of the screwdriver, inserting it from the threaded end. And then you take Delrin screw here, right there. And you only want to let it thread in about a quarter of the way just to make everything else a little easier to get put together. So here what we're going to be doing is putting the cam pin through the rudder housing, through the casting here. And again, to just get that lined up, what I got to do is press down here on the cam, press that down on the back side here, push the pin through. the receiving end. Get your flathead and piece it all together. And there you can see how that mechanism flexes and ultimately locks down in place. Pop it right back up to the upright position and you can see our grease at work there along this line. Thanks for tuning in, sticking around this long. If you have any questions about this tutorial or need any more clarification on anything, drop a comment below. I'll leave a list of supplies below. Um, if I leave anything out, just uh, drop a comment. I'll try and get an answer as soon as possible. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you on the next video. This video is a first episode of a series of videos I'm going to start doing regarding the maintenance of a Hobie 16 that I recently picked up. So if this is helpful and you like it, consider subscribing, stick around, and uh, let's get to working on the boat.